Welcome back to Beyond Death, where we examine near-death experiences that have been documented by people who say they have died and came back after visiting the afterlife. If this is your first visit to the channel, and this type of content interests you, please be sure to tap that subscribe button below. In today's NDE, we hear about Edita M., who says she died by drowning as a young girl to find herself protected from shadow-like entities by an angel after which she was guided through a tunnel to the other side. Let's get straight into it. Here I am with my free will and free fall. Where should I start with this story? I ask. I drowned at age 12 and had a near-death experience. I felt myself to already be a bit of an odd bird before this incident, though I did my best to hide this from others, and often from myself as well. I knew I was never quite at home here, but merely passing through, felt my parents were not my source, and that I was here for a reason. I knew that I was protected and guided. I also knew deep inside of things I should not have known given my age and the circumstances I grew up in. My premonitions were always vindicated. I knew that I felt weary with a sort of weariness not produced here on earth. I knew of my many previous lives that I've gone through, some I preferred not to recognize because I am so changed now. But each of those lives I have now accepted, embraced and learned from, and I felt that I will always want to go back to the home where I belong. I have a loneliness that never leaves me but which I have now learned to live with. I drowned because I had just moved to the Netherlands and had not yet learned to speak or read Dutch. On a sign near the pond was written in Dutch, no swimming. This was because of the dangerous whirlpools. Because I had grown up near the sea and also lived many years near a river I was never afraid of water and considered myself a good swimmer. It was a warm day and I went walking with my friend Elk along the dike near Riswick. Once we were near the water elk began walking along one side. I sat down for a moment before diving in to cool off. I was hardly in the water and thought how cold and brown the Netherlands water is compared to ours. Suddenly, it seemed like someone had grabbed me by both legs and was pulling me to the bottom. I thought there are monsters in this water. I was being pulled down and saw only how the light was gradually disappearing. I tried to swim to the surface like I had done countless times in the sea when you dive and want to come back up but I kept going deeper it seemed. I realized if I exhaled that that would be my last breath. A voice said, let go. So I let go and the panic I had felt disappeared and a peace came over me. Next what I saw was a body drifting submerged in the water. It was all very pleasant and peaceful I thought until I realized that that was me. But how can this be? I'm here, who is that then? I felt actually nothing toward my body except to say that that is my packaging. Here, this is really me. I seem to be drifting further away from my body and I know when I looked down to see where my legs and body should have been there was nothing. Yet I felt more complete than ever. I tried to sense whether I felt more a woman than a man and it looked like I had more feminine energy, but I felt clearly that I could have been either. I was being drawn upward while at the same time hearing a strong peeping sound. I looked around and could hear that it was coming from me. At the same time I saw more of the details around me. I felt to the right of me a clear presence, my angel slash protector. While I became conscious of him, there were two shadow-like beings coming from his left to take me with them. I heard my angel say, Leave her alone, she is one of ours. As he said that the shadows disappeared looking angry. I was guided further upward and saw an explosion of colors. My peeping sound continued, and while I was watching the explosion of colors slow music came from all directions. I could also see and feel everything around me at once. The music became steadily clearer, and I thought, what sort of music is this? It was namely, classical music. As a child, I never listened to it. I got to hear that my tone frequency is part of the rest, and that we together produce different music in the universe each time. My protector was still present, and assured me that my next trip would contain a bit less light, but would be safe. And that's what happened. There was a sort of dark tunnel that changed in my life film. It was more like the pond in which I drowned. 
I saw, heard and felt and experienced everything at once. I knew I was very angry and sad when I saw how heartbroken my parents would be if I didn't return home. We came through the war together, and now they will lose me in this manner. My mother would be very heartbroken. I saw this in detail, and it gave me such pain. My father would be in a quite similar state. My little brother would miss me later in life. I saw many different images of my life which actually showed me my future. People I would meet, situations I would find myself in and things that I apparently needed to go through. I got to hear that I was an important part of my family and must help them through their soul's journey. This life overview was at once over and I went further into the tunnel, but the tunnel became transparent. I could see the universe through it. I came to a sort of round cloud entrance and it was very bright. I hovered there and was told that I may have a short look. I saw countless light beings standing in a sort of row and they were having what looked like an impatient and rather serious discussion. Strangely, while I was asking myself what this was the answer came out of myself also, as if I already knew and merely had to remember. These beings are waiting to come to Earth to help. The Earth is in need of help. As a child I had a memory of floating above the Earth and hearing, Help! Help! I remembered then that this is what that was. I floated for a time above these light beings, but I was allowed no further. Then I heard, we're going. At once I was back in a sort of tunnel, moving toward a place that made me feel happier the closer I got to it. Suddenly I realized if I go there I won't be able to come back. A voice that seemed to come from all directions said, you're going back. I was so disappointed. I felt the love, peace, and homecoming feeling, and now I must go back. I kept saying no, but was pulled back. The following moment I was opening my eyes underwater and heard, swim to the surface. I did that and was at the surface after what seemed like only a couple of strokes. I leapt in a deafening motion out of the water and thought, what in God's name was that? Elk was standing on the bank and looked at me in a surprised and scared way. She gave me a hand signal that she had been looking for me. I was shivering and sat down. She put a sweater over me. I don't know how we made it to our pensions. Walking, I know that but it seemed like we had still not landed. I was someone else it seemed. That feeling would remain with me for years. Because my mother was a strict mama I didn't dare tell her what had happened. I came home, and she saw that my hair was wet so she came down on my head a bit over having gone swimming. I didn't dare go to sleep that night. I wanted to understand what had happened to me, but I was afraid I might die again and my parents would still lose me. I could feel their remorse yet from what I had seen earlier. The following day I awakened. I know that and I saw this world, but through it I also saw what I had seen in the water. I couldn't concentrate and was a bit mixed up. I asked God why he was doing this to me. I heard in reply that we will be taking away a lot of those memories because it is a bit too much for you at once, but over the course of your life, you will regain all of them. And that's what happened. I no longer saw doubled images but normal daily life. I was already a closed book, but after this even more so. I knew my bond since childhood with God was strong and we had conversations, but this beat all that. We had fled the war. I didn't have such a happy youth, was highly sensitive, and from birth had memories and experiences I should not have had. I felt that I had been different for long enough. I wanted so much to just be normal, but this experience made that even more difficult. Meanwhile, I have turned 40 years old. I have had so many magic moments in my life I could write a book. Strange it is that I already been given a title for the book I am to write. I have hesitated for 28 years because it would be personal and I might become vulnerable, but I know I must deal with it. Should it not become a book, I hope sincerely that those who read this might find something for themselves in it, maybe rediscovers or strengthens his or her own connection with our source. I know I should write this book if only for myself. From the moment you come to the moment you leave you are always learning, and I have a lot of lessons to go. 
Even at this moment as I'm writing this, I'm learning another important lesson. From the time I first chose eternity, and that I should joyfully remain here, I again received the lesson announced in my near-death experience. My heart is working at only 25% capacity, but I know that everything is going according to plan. Note from Beyond Death. For more information on this NDE, please check out the link in the description, which includes a brief question and answer portion immediately following the experience.